Morning Trainiacs, if your chain sounds anything like this, we're gonna make you a lot faster today. Very quick video today because I just came from early morning fasted blood draw. They took out about eight vials of blood. That is legitimately the first time that I've ever got woozy giving blood. Just gotta make sure that my levels are all topped up before we get into hardcore race season. And then in about two hours, I have to go pick up Melissa, AKA Mel, and we gotta go on an all afternoon shoot. So. We gotta do this really quickly. You see this? This is an ugly, ugly commuter chain. Now this baby here is so rusted up that if any of you have a chain that looks like this on your tri bike, y'all should be ashamed of yourself. But this bike is like an outdoor dog. It rarely comes inside, really just to get a little bit of work done on it. So things rust up on it a lot you aren't gonna have a bike chain that is this bad on your tri bike, but if you have any little bit of squeaking, any bit of dryness, crustiness, that's gonna add a lot of resistance to your pedaling, and you're gonna be working harder than you need to be to go fast. So I'm gonna tell you how to replace this very easily. It's basic stuff, don't worry. Okay, so what you gotta look for right off the start is there's going to be a link that is like the end of the chain. There we go. Perfect timing. You're looking for something like that that you can peel off. And what you do with that is you grab yourself a pair of needle nose pliers, something like that, and you want to get rid of that link. Basically, you're just twisting it right off. There we go. Came off. Now what's going to happen, let's see. And then what you'll have is, you'll have a couple of little nubs that are sticking out and you need to push those through the other side of the chain and that'll separate it. Oh, you're gonna wanna Press the chain together to give yourself a little bit of a little bit of give. You don't want a really tight chain. Basically just knock that thing out. Don't hit your carbon bike and bam, your chain comes off. Now, what if there isn't a very clear link like that or for some reason this is rusted on? What you can do in that case is you're gonna have to position your bike in a way that you can bridge the chain across two solid things. And then you take yourself a punch, put it on top of one of these rivets here, or whatever these things are called, and you can try to hammer one of these links out. And we will try to do that right now. sides of the chain. Now, what you might have to do is shorten the new chain and you can use that same process. While the chain's off, we'll take this opportunity to degrease. Oh, the chain ring, that is disgusting. Ooh. A little bit on the back too. And then we're ready for a new chain, which we just so happen to have right there. Unravel, there you go. Drape it through the frame and over top of the 
rear cog and the front chain ring. Give yourself enough room that you can join it underneath. And what you're looking to do here is see how long it needs to be. So we have a ton of space down there that we have to shorten up the same way that we just did with the punch. Now, if you're smart, unlike me, you've got yourself a chain breaker. Small, inexpensive tool, costs somewhere around, I think, 20 to $30. And that makes this a lot more exact. Punches the rivet through the same way and uh, maintains the integrity of the chain. So we are probably gonna punch this apart and then I'm gonna have to repair it just a tad. Make sure whatever link in the chain you're punching apart, it's going to match there, the end, so that you can put it back together. I can just imagine the comments from all the bike heads and the mechanics right now that are losing their mind saying, get yourself a chain breaker, Taryn. Well, sometimes we gotta repair chain and we don't have a chain breaker nearby. And voila, good eight inches taken out of the chain. So we've got the length of the chain now right around where we want it. Now that's basically, that's just a tad too short, but over here, we'll move the wheel forward to be able to make up that space. And there we go. That gives us lots of slack to work with. Right around there where they're almost touching and then in the chain package, you're gonna have one of those links to bring it together. That's what we took out right at the start. One side of the link looks like this. Push it through one side. Push it through the other. Locking thing, part. And I think this one just needs to be pressed on. There, so after struggling with that for quite a while because it wasn't the easy link that's open on one side, I think we've got it done. And we move the wheel back so it's nice and not tight, but snug. Basically right around here where there's a little bit of give, but it's not sloppy, just kind of like this. So with your finger, you can move it. There we go, not squeaky. And that is how in just 37 simple steps and an hour, you too can have yourself a new fresh chain. It is so quiet and smooth. I like it. Oh, I'm gonna be flying in the one mile bike ride to the pool. Create a Strava section. So there you go, Trainiacs. You can definitely do this on your own. I do, however, recommend getting a chain breaker. Money well spent, especially if you're gonna be doing this for a while. You're gonna have to replace a lot of chains. It's probably one of the easiest little bits of bike maintenance that you can do that is guaranteed to make you faster. So if you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button below for all of our daily triathlon maintenance, training, news, all kinds of videos. And if you like interview podcasts, check out the Triathlon Terran podcast. It is the most highly reviewed triathlon podcast in the world. Later, Trainiacs.